Wow. Oh. When Volkswagen made the Mark IV new Beetle, they apparently didn't think it was important to include a temperature gauge. Instead, they gave us this handy daddy light that shines blue when the car is cold and red when it's already overheating. By the time the red light comes on, the water temp is already above 260 degrees, which isn't the greatest for the car, especially if you're stuck in traffic and can't safely pull over. By then, you might already have caused irreparable damage to the car. Most older cars have at least an analog gauge that shows you when the temperature is creeping up to overheating, but with no gauge in the car, there literally is no warning before the car is already overheating. When my car started overheating, I monitored the temperature gauge using Blue Driver. Blue Driver is an OBD2 dongle that plugs into the OBD2 port in your car and connects by Bluetooth to your phone. You can track all kinds of live stats on the car, but this can be kind of cumbersome, especially if you have multiple vehicles. So I jumped onto the Google machine. I wanted to see what other Beetle drivers were using to keep track of their temps, and I found that a lot of them were using Scan Gauge. Scan Gauge is a really handy tool and it's super easy to install. You can use it as a trip computer, diagnostic tool, and depending on your car, you can access up to 37 digital gauges. Some things that you can monitor include fuel consumption, cost per mile, coolant temp, engine speed, horsepower, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. The features list says you can also clear a check engine light, but I haven't tried this and I'm not sure if it works on every vehicle. The Scan Gauge works on all cars 1996 or newer with an OBD2 port. On most cars, the OBD2 port is on the driver's side underneath the kick panel but on the Acura Integra, I found mine on the passenger side. Start by plugging in the scan gauge. I chose to mount the scan gauge on the bottom of the sensor bezel. Supposedly the scan gauge comes with Velcro, but I must have misplaced it. I used this super strong Scotch product that says it's good for 10 pounds. The gauge weighs less than three ounces. Before attaching the adhesive, wipe the mounting surfaces with an alcohol prep pad. After the rubbing alcohol dries, apply the fastener to the car and to the scan gauge. Usually for adhesive products like this, you're supposed to let the adhesive cure for about 24 hours before loading it or using it, but this thing only weighs three ounces and I was kind of impatient, so I just stuck it on there right away. Here's what it looks like mounted to the bezel. I use a Sharpie to color match the fastener. I may come back and clean this up later and route the cable completely behind the dash, but I was lazy and put most of the cable under the floor mat and tucked the rest under the plastic trim pieces. To keep the cord away from my feet, I used an adhesive cable clip. The scan gauge fits perfectly under the bezel and doesn't get in the way of the shifter. It does, however, render one of the cup holders completely useless, but that cup holder was pretty useless already. And that's pretty much it. Super easy to install and it works great. Hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel and it keeps me motivated to keep making new content. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.